So if you don't know what is happening these days in Genshin Impact, I am here to further confirm that I don't know what is happening in Genshin either. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and join my Discord. See ya. Peace. All jokes aside but what I do know for sure, is that whatever is happening right now, is totally not good. And I am concerned what is going to happen in the future. Because the future of Genshin is looking horrible to me to be honest. So, let me tell you what I am talking about. Alright everyone Maharib is here and you see, if you have already completed all the quests of Simulanka, there is an end quest, an odd textual mystery, and this whole quest is not voiced. And there are players who have this question. Why is this quest not voiced? I have a very speculative answer. I might be wrong, but if I'm wrong, you can let me know in the comments section. But, let's first talk about why this particular quest makes no sense not to be voiced. First of all, this quest is a part of this limited time event, and every other quest in this event is voiced. Except for the Samara quest. Secondly, this is not your usual world quest, like Aranara quest, or going on an adventure with Ameliacene etc. It's not like that. And lastly, the entire quest is based on dialogues. There is no fighting, or doing anything else except listening to what they have to say. Not voicing anything like that, just doesn't make any sense. And it's not like these characters don't have their dedicated voice actors. They have it. So, even if you think it's not that big of a deal on surface, I think it is indeed a big deal. I've seen people thinking, it is because of the budget, but Hoyoverse is a multi-billion dollar company, and Genshin is widely known for doing everything as low budget as possible that they cannot even sync the characters' lips with their voice. Anyways, I don't think it's because of the budget, or because this is some sort of world quest, or anything like that. I think it's because of all this recent Genshin boycott happening because of Natlin's misrepresentation. This time, it's not just the matter of bad rewards, but also the presentation of people. And this time, voice actors are involved in all this drama as well. I just searched on Twitter for the voice actors who spoke about this, and I was shocked on how many of them actually raised their voice. Voice actor of Albedo shared a tweet. If a game draws so heavily from real-world cultures, and the character end up looking like pale Sasuke Batman, people are absolutely within their rights to demand better representation. Especially when said game has a clearly stated commitment to a global audience. I hope you all keep making your voices heard, and I hope they listen. We are talking about Oloran here. The Pale Sasuke Batman. That's a good nickname. Also, so much for the freedom of speech Elon Musk, we can't even write a complete paragraph if we don't give money. Ironic. Voice actress of Barbara and Sinyan said, I may be a migraine so I'm sorry if the words aren't good. But there was a very simple job to do, and it just wasn't done. There's no ignorance to feign. The source material is rich, and the audience has been hungry. I hope they take the criticism with grace. Voice actress of Beidou and Acheron said, It's disappointing when parts of the world that are so seldom reflected in media could be portrayed accurately. I know this is inspired by, as opposed to one-to-one -one depiction, but if you're drawing on specific sources, it would be so lovely to see it done the way it should be. Our cute and adorable Kali said, Okay, no typo this time. When I was a kid, I didn't see a lot of people who looked like my family in the media. Don't worry Christina, people who look like my family are always portrayed as terrorists. So I prefer no portrayal any time of the day. Anyways, things have been changing. Slow, but they have. But so slow it feels. We all deserve to see ourselves in the media, to feel seen. It's a beautiful thing. The general Mahamatra of the academia commented, I didn't knew that's who he is based on. <laughs> that's bad. You still got time to fix it. What? Not funny? Those who don't know, he is also a VTuber on YouTube. So he got the audience. Not to talk about Sino fans like me, who could have liked to see Sino talk in this quest as well. Now you all would know about Macro Meatball, right? One of the best YouTuber and an opera singer. He is also a voice actor of Daverjack, a musician from Fontaine. He created a post saying, the biggest mistake Genshin has made is locking into the idea of regions based off of real-world places. The music certainly represents those places. So, why not the characters and people you explore the world as, for countless hours? It's an enormous shame. And he is absolutely right. In fact, tell me which region is this music belongs to? You know it's Inazuma, right? Now listen to this.
Don't tell me you think it's from Liyue. The difference is just insane. But somehow when it comes to characters, everyone says, it's just a game. There are pale people in those regions as well yada yada yada. Please save it lol. If you can't see the problem with heavily using a culture and character design while leaving the people behind, I'm not wasting time explaining it to you. People have every right to be upset and call it out. That's what Dish said. Deya, when she saw Natlon characters. This is not good. Hoyoverse need to buff Deya and make her a limited 5 star. That's all I want from the game. Otherwise, they will stay racist for me. I said that in my previous video as well. Ariana Rosario, who was a voice actress of a bunch of NPCs from Sumeru, also shared a post saying, Authentic casting is important and Natlin's cast is extremely disappointing. No disrespect to the actors themselves, I don't know the specs of casting, I don't know if they even knew it was for Genshin or had any idea it was for Natlon. My disrespect goes to casting. Apparently it's a thread, but TLDR, Natlon is disappointing. Voice actress of Layla said, I'm sorry, but these edits are eating down. You hear me? Lynette's voice actor also shares the same opinion, saying melanin edits are chef's kiss. Nilo's voice actor after seeing melanin edit of Xylanin. We were robbed. Look how beautiful this looks. I really hope they hear everyone and what's being said. A message from Albert from Honkai Star Rail. Dark is beautiful. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Paimon said, keep speaking up. Keep talking about it. Eventually, someone will listen. Why does it sound just like Paimon? Keep speaking and don't shut up. Speak unless everyone have enough of you. And do the work you want them to do, just so they can shrug you off from their back. Nah, just kidding. I like Paimon talking, and I think she has very less voice lines in the game. Paimon should speak more in my opinion. Nah, just kidding again. The Almighty Raiden Shogun also joined in and said, I really hope that a video game company listens to its fanbase when valid criticism is made multiple years in a row about the execution of its research and inclusion of elements and aspects of other cultures. Robin's voice actress said, Don't think I needed to say this, but I have shared experiences with many VAs, and some of them have already perfectly said what's been on my mind. I don't need to then say the same thing from my platform when I can instead make sure their voices are heard louder. Yoimiya's voice actor said, It shouldn't be a radical desire to see yourself reflected in the media you consume. Now from this point you have seen voice actors talking a little politely, but some of the voice actors are also enraged and furious over these designs. And I am not blaming them. In fact, we need brave people like them so we can tell them that we actually want this change. We are not just bluffing here. Voice actor of Setho's said, if even your base audience, the Chinese fans, are asking for better representation, or characters with different shades of melanin, who are you making these characters for? Sucrose's voice actor posted, I could stay quiet about this and protect myself, but us folks of color don't always need to stay quiet and let others fuck us over and disrespect us so that we can continue to advance at half the pace of our white peers. You can feel the rage of Sucrose here. Voice actor of Topaz from Honkai Star Rail and Ambi from Zenless Zone Zero shared a post saying, we once again find ourselves in a situation where people whose cultures are being poorly represented by the creators are being told to stop complaining and find another game to play. This is such a missed opportunity to authentically showcase a sea of colorful and diverse cultures. I said that previously as well. If you think people of Sumeru are actual representation of South Asia or Middle East, you're surely mistaken. Everyone in Sumeru is a dickhead. I see everything. Nothing escapes my eyes. Harina's a tough nut to crack. My guy is trying to bluff me again. Oh man, these city folks have no sense of vigilance. By the Dendro Archon, please don't make me move my stall again. Akram is never going to stop stealing, is he? I can't let Farouk see me the next time I make a move. When can I finally retire? And similarly, if you think the academia and the scholars of the academia are accurate representation of the people in Golden Age of Islam, you're surely mistaken. Every scholar is a nerd and is dumb as fuck. Hmm. Narrow-minded Haravatat. <laughs> Foolish Vahumana. I should probably make an admission brochure and put it up on the side. But I'm sure no one would read it. Hopefully those earmarked funds were actually spent somewhere useful. Everyone hold hands! Let them fight it out. I don't want anything to do with it. <sighs> so I guess I can't just expect the Akasha to give me a boost in my grades. This is the representation of how others see the people of these regions and cultures, not how the people actually were. 
But if someone enters in Sumeru and then see all the scholars as dumb idiots, you know it creates an image in their head that the scholars in Golden Age of Islam, or the people of Middle East or South Asia, are also like that, when that's not the reality. It's the same with Natlan now. So if someone says our people are represented badly, you can't just say leave the game and stop complaining. Voice actor of Yip Tak, Gaming's father, straight up said, email them. What a giga chat. And the general of Wadatsumi Island, Goro, created an entire thread consist of 15 whole messages on how representation can make a huge difference in someone's life. TLDR. It means so much to be able to see people who look like you in media. And when the representation is rare, the consequences can be immense. Now you know if a person like you and me, or even if any big content creator talks about it, it doesn't matter to Hoyoverse, but voice actors are directly tied to the company. When they start to go against the company, it affects not only the reputation, but also the production of content in the game. That's what we saw here in this quest. My assumption is that maybe the previous voice lines for the entire quest were recorded before this Natlon teaser, but when it was the time to record voice lines of this particular quest, it was too late to ask these voice actors to work for them when they themselves are actively going against the company they are working for. Now I know there can be people who don't speak as harshly to protect themselves from losing their jobs, or to stay away from controversy or things like that, but like how Sucrose's voice actor said this. Now you tell me, after that comment, can you tell her to come and record voices of Sucrose in the very next quest? Maybe that's why we didn't saw Sucrose with Albedo and Simulanka. And in Sumeru, there was Sino, Sethos, Layla, Deya, all those people who are not very fond of the situation happening right now. So it doesn't matter if for example voice actors of Paimon, or Layla, or Sino, agrees to record the voices of their respected characters, as long as every voice actor won't enter in a team, the quest will not be able to get voiced. They can't just record Farazan's voice, but when we go to meet Sethos, he won't have any voice. Right? In my opinion, I don't think we are going to get any voiced quest for some time that includes Sucrose, or Sethos, or even some other voice actors who didn't like what happened with Natlon, but also didn't talk about it in public. I think there are only two options for Hoyoverse to manage this situation for the future. Either make redesigns of characters, or look for other more voice actors. Or just wait for everything to cool down and get all of the voice actors to again keep working with them. I just hope everything turns out fine. As long as Natlon is not released, they have the time to make redesigns, it's not a very difficult task. And again, I could be wrong in my assumption, but I don't find any other reason why this quest was not voiced. But what do you guys think? Are these voice actors in any kind of trouble? Or is Hoyo just waiting for the rage to cool down so they can ask these voice actors to start voice acting again? And if they ask them, will these voice actors actually start voice acting again? I have no idea what is going on, but it's fun to see the dramas and their effect on the game. I hope Hoyoverse fire current Genshin dev team and hire a new team who listen to their player base. That's the only solution in my opinion. Every voice actor who is talking about this issue is a brave soul, and I have nothing but utmost respect for them. Real problem is the devs who refuse to listen to anything. And lastly... Hi, I am Muharib's wife, Layla. My husband would be very happy if you leave a like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to join our Discord server and he will see you in the comment section. Peace!